guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the free to play account on the test server. Not feeling the greatest, but we are going to get through this, guys. So looking in the dark forest, the temporal rift is now open. Ascend the tower and acquire their treasures. Tap to enter. Now remember, if you guys seen the first video, the temporal rift is going to have unlimited floors. That is right, guys. When we get in here, all the heroes I believe are going to be set at 340, but there's going to be unlimited floors. So not sure exactly how far players are going to be able to push but the bearer of the divine mission you must restore order so here's the temporal rift undertake the sacred duty of repairing the temporal chaos and obtain an abundance of resources which i love in this place every ending is a new beginning special badges that have been placed have been blessed to provide various powerful effects get more badges through exploration to make even I think there's supposed to be something down there. Items transformed by the temporal element can enhance a hero's talents, even more effective in attributes for maximum. And again, these don't, it doesn't seem like it goes through there. Temporal element, you can see gathering and conducting repairs will improve space time stability, yielding greater resources and more resources you possess. And there is the stalker guys, monster created by the space time distortion, have a hum, Im, huge impact on spatio-temporal stability to restore order and peace. And there it is, guys. There is the temporal rift itself. All right, so this is the beta version. We are on level one right here. The level one perks, very cool. It is going to have level one perks. So AFK continuum acquisition, 198. Essence sequence, 198. Total temporal beacon talents unlocked, five. Total unlocked badges, 28 badges. Wow, that, that's kind of good there. Level two, we have more heroes to fight, more level badges, higher level badges, highest badge level five, which was the same with this one. Level three goes to 210, still stays at five, more highest level temporal beacon, 15. Goes to 20, some more badges, some more uh, talents unlocked right there. Then of course, highest level badges, 10 on level five. Not sure how fast you're going to go ahead and level these up. Can only preview the next five levels currently i'm one of 50 guys so this is going to go 50 levels on here which is absolutely crazy to see um temporal feedback during the temporal feedback players who make continuum points will be rewarded so we are going to get the essence and we're going to get the cores which is awesome right down here we're actually going to get rewind keys once this privilege is activated, diamonds shall no longer be required to reset temporal beacon talents during the season. That's awesome. That, that is a very, very cool effect right there. Then you can see we have more, more potions and more of the cores going on down. So let's see, getting points, guys. Well, we can, all, of course, get them. It took us to the shop right here, but we're free to play. We're not going to pick up anything out of here. During the event, players can buy certain items to get contortium points and reap handsome rewards. Completely free to play, guys. Not even going to worry about that. But let's get to the Temporal Rift itself. Here's our leaderboard. So we already have a couple heroes in here that are pushing the Temporal Rift. Um, undertake the sacred duty of repairing the Temporal Chaos and obtain an abundance of resources in this place. Every ending is a new beginning. And then that's the rules. There's our levels. All right, so the Temple Rift. Let's see what this looks like, guys. So weekly challenge, seven of seven. So we still have all of our challenges left here. Let's go ahead and battle. Here, time does not dictate us. It is the chaos, the culprit that spreads the chaos. Brave warriors tasked by the gods must descend into the chaotic whirlwind of time. Our defense forces, important heroes cannot be withdrawn during a challenge. Defense forces can be swapped out afterwards by repeating the selected challenge. All right, so level up the Temple Rift to add more. I'm not sure if these are the heroes that we're going to use. I'm assuming these are the heroes we're going to use. So we're going to go with the Ainz, of course. I'm not sure exactly how strong these heroes have to be either. Because on this account, we do have a significant amount of Graveborn heroes. Let's see who else we got. We got some support. Again, I don't know if this is right or wrong. Um, haven't had a chance to really play around with this or see what it looks like, but there's Laika. We want Eron in this one. We're definitely going to bring Lucretia in here. 
Now I'm looking at our last ones. I like the crowd control Pharrell does, but I also like Damon as well, guys. There we go. We'll, we'll pop these ones in there. Contorium Traveler, bearer, bearer of the Divine Mission, who would boldly challenge the chaos, must restore order. So here's our logs, probably our attack logs. Portraits, level up to unlock more badges. You can see there are a crazy amount of badges in here, which are awesome. Looks like each one of the badges are going to give us stuff, and then you can level up the badges. Wow, guys. This is insane. After the start of battle, the wielder receives a shield every 25 seconds that has equal 5% of the maximum health. That is a lot of badges and a lot of build out. And it looks like you're gonna do, you're gonna put them on specific heroes. So here are the badges that Rowan can acquire. Wow, guys, th this game mode is going to be absolutely huge. And right there on level 15, we can do the Masters Musing. So let's challenge it, guys. Let's see what we got. So it shows us the team that we're fighting, which is set right here. And I believe it is, again, level 360. They're on level 360. You can see right there, um, the copy of Orthos does have a item already on it. He does have something already on there. So let's see what we can build out here. We'll throw some support in there. And it seems like after every battle, we can probably swap this around is what I'm assuming. And you can also just speed through the battles if you don't want to watch it. But very first floor. There we go. All oh, remaining HP. So you're going to have to make sure you really bring support in here because if it's going to carry over, you can see their energy bars down here exactly where they are. Um, and also their HP to go through there. Defeated enemies from the chance to, he to choose hero badges, which can be used in the temporal rift. Boom, there's our chest. Wow, we got three badges. Seal of punishment after seven seconds after damage is dealt by the wielders. Normal attack damage received by the wielders increased by 5%. So pretty good increase there. The wielder does not receive damage for four seconds. Normal attack speed is increased. Really basing, you can see right here is Rowan. Um, this is Oden. This is Ainz down here. Wielder's health recovery is increased by 10% when their health is low. So very cool. Not sure if that's all the ones we got. Oh, but it'll break out the details of it. Attributes. So not only does it add the ability, it adds a lot of stats. So I think similar to what we've seen, I think I have to choose one of these. Not too bad, it gives me three choices. And you know what, within here, we're gonna go ahead and do Ainz, just because he's a monster. I'm assuming he's going to be a monster in here. And there we go, guys. We got some Contortium Essence, and we got some, some Sequence in there, which is awesome. So tap to enter the next floor and take on a challenge. So we can go the Grievous Realm, Powerful Enemies Inhabit This Realm, 222 here. Realm of Exploration, Common Enemies Lurk here. So it seems like this is going to be kind of the hard mode, I'm assuming, and then this is going to be kind of the easy mode. That's what I'm thinking, like Dismal Maze versus the, just the regular Labyrinth. But you know what? Let's go the hard way. Grievous Realm has a high difficulty. The risk of high casualties is high. Do you want to continue? Don't remind me again this season. Sure. Tap Hero Badges, which it looks like Let's look at the hero badges. So there we go. So we have Ainz. Hero badges are special items that can only be activated and viewed in the Temple Rift. All hero badges shall be destroyed after the challenge ends or if it's reset. Okay, so Ainz is going to get a little bit more HP. You can see they're kind of heavy here. All of them have, looks like multiple levels on here. And again, our health and our energy is staying in here. What if we can just reset it though? There is no reset. There's no pause. There's no reset. Guys, this is going to be a very tough challenge in here. There is no reset. There is no pause. When you go in here, it is full kilt to go for the battle. You're going to have to bring some solid support in here, guys. The chest, we have one for Rowan, one for Scrag, one for Silas. See, normal attack speed. Um, that'll give him a little bit more energy regeneration. We... 
wielders health heals a hero with low health and increase their critical rate. Yeah, we'll go with this one. There we go. Seven and seven. I believe that pops it right in. Yep, so it did put that right on him. And then choose the next four, which they give us a little heart on here. Oh, because it swapped. So th this is the way, the way that we were going. 262 million. Let's go it again. We are on floor number three. Floor 10. Wow. Look at that, guys. Up to floor 300 right there. We got Stargazer cards. Got a lot of loot. Got some chests in here with a lot of stuff. Very cool to see. Got some Stargazer cards in here at floor 200. And then look at the remaining rewards we have in here. That's pretty cool. I, I mean, it, it's a pretty cool addition. Um, it's going to take quite a bit of time to go through and see the build up, build outs and see exactly what relics or what, wh what's going to work best, I guess, on which heroes. But receive one badge. One badge reset chance when all heroes survive battle. So they have challenges within here. So if all the heroes survive battle, they're actually going to give us an opportunity to reset a badge. This is going to take a lot of strategy in here, guys, to get this one done. You're going to have to really strategize this. All allies survive. So there we go. So we got one badge reset. And we get another chest. We have Lucretia, 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 triple Lucretia on that one. So it also level two. So pay attention, guys. This is a level one badge. That is a level two badge. So we're pulling a level two out of here. When using a shield, the normal attack speed is increased by 10. Using a shield, 4% of the HP is recovered. But it just looks like it's going to be a big increase in stats as well, guys. And then we have the two Grievous Hard Force. But overall, guys, very, very cool to see. Very cool to see the new game mode, um, exactly how it's going to look. There is the Temporal Beacon. So we can use the Essence and to enhance the attack rating. Essence in the cores can be acquired. Let's take a look at this, guys. The Warriors can who have set anchor points within the Rift so you don't get lost and can be continually forged bravely ahead. We got tanks, warriors, so we do have our class specifics in there. We don't have 40 of these yet. We're, we're at 21, but that's okay. The Wondering really increased multiple attributes of support heroes, particularly their crit block rating, healing, and insight. Seems like if you can have a, a opportunity to kind of stack two of these classes, um, similar to what we see with the Abyssal Expedition, where if you're stacking a, a solid class in here, support and probably another one, you would be able to get through here relatively easy. Out of the following badges, tank, warrior, ranger, mage, highest three level talents cannot have a level differential, which exceeds this specific level. High, so you need three in here. So essentially, I can't leave one at zero and take all the others to 10 they're going to have a three level difference. And then we have our Fountain of Time down here. Also, this is what we're getting. So our AFK timer within the Fountain of Time. Very cool, so we get some free cores out of there. Also get a little bit of loot. Hall of Fame is still locked. And then the Sanctum Realm is coming in future, future updates. So let's see where we are in our level, guys. So we finished four floors, gave us 24 experience. So this is gonna take a long time to get through here. But this is an absolute insane game mode for the Temple Rift that we're going to have to do a ton of research on this, especially when it comes to the floors and it comes to the heroes with the badges. There is going to be a ton, an absolute ton in here to figure out all of these badges, guys. But that is the Temple Rift. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. It is very cool to see. Um, it is a massive game mode that they have added. And as always, thank you guys for watching.